What's up? Yeah, that's my intro. Hey guys, welcome back. So here go another video going over the Memento Generals again. But we're also going to be covering the new general, Matthias the First. So uh, let's get straight into it. Let's go with Memento Generals, who is going to be Ho Kuping, the Chinese general. Um, John I of Portugal, who is a European general. And Vladimir the Great, who's going to be a Russian general. Um, so also dealing with the Mementos, we have new consuming re event reward, crafting speed-ups, trap speed-ups, uh, strategic stop pile, of course. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into Hua Kuping. So Hua Kuping, the first thing you're going to notice about him is that he has a very low um, rating. That 12926 is very low. What the rating has to do with is um, how high his total overall it has a capability of being this is based on his all of his stats the leadership attack defense politics when they're maxed out that number that total number for all of those um this determines what their rating is going to be so with a 12 9 2, 6, his overall rating is going to is is pretty low he does however have the highest um tie for the highest base attack in the game with that 120 um his, his the special skill that he comes with, he reduces troop troop marching time by 20% um, when he's leading the army. He's overall a mounted general and when you look at his specialties. Uh, so when you first get this general, the only thing he's going to be able to do is shorten your march time. I mean, I don't know if I need to tell you anything more than that. I, I personally, I think he's better than Alexander the Great, but I wouldn't waste my momentum points on him, even if I'm not one of those those players that stack, unless you only have um, uh, Alexander the Great or somebody like that, unless you only have a really bad attack general and you want somebody that's going to be able to be more beneficial to you in attack, then I wouldn't waste the 30 mementos on getting him. The next one is going to be John the First of Portugal. This guy is uh, a duty officer general. Um, you guys know my position when it comes to duty officer generals. Whenever you have an opportunity to acquire a duty officer general, you get that general. You notice immediately that his his uh, his rating is fourteen one ninety one, which really too much isn't a, a major co concern because you're not going to max out all of the duty officer's attributes. You're focusing only on maxing out whatever the duty office um, position requires you to max out. For him, it's, uh, he's a range duty officer, an uh, archer camp. Um, you're going to, uh, of course, I have him already. So you're only really going to focus on, um, on attack and leadership for this officer. You don't have to put any, uh, any gear or any of those things on, on duty officers. You just have to max out the specific attributes being required. So... If you have the point and you're not going to be doing anything with them, uh, these skills will accident. They don't need to be on them. They're not going to benefit them. Neither does any gear benefit them. Um, you put them up to five stars so that you can be able to continue to cultivate them at, past a certain point. It's something that's going to be important. You know, you got to get them to 22 and have them five starred. But other than that, all you're going to want to do for him in the beginning, especially an early gamer, is get the required minimum for the duty officer spot, which is 500 and 550, I believe. Which is 500 and 550. Yes, yeah, 500 attack and 450 leadership. To get him inside that, that area, he's going to give you an automatic 5% attack bonus to all your ring troops in your army, starting off with that. And then he adds an extra 20% training speed when you're training new range troops. So you're going to want him immediately um lastly is going to be vladimir the great um overall vladimir the great is uh i will put him in a class decent general he is a subordinate city general he definitely is a subordinate city general um a really good one at that um 10 percent uh, debuff to all enemy troops if you use him in pvp as a tell you as extra uh, 20 percent to range troop attack he has very low um, attack and defense his high rating comes mostly from his politics and leadership 
Um, but you're going to put him in a sub. So because of, you're going to be using him in a subordinate city, I wouldn't advise spending the amount of mementos that you need in order to acquire him. You're going to want to use the mementos for uh, Martinez, a Hannibal, uh, um, Alfred, a uh, uh, Minamoto, an Electra, um, a Napoleon, uh, uh, Ulysses S. Grant. If Matthias get into there, which who we're going to get into today, you may want to use it on him. Um, even though you can get Trajan from the, the tavern if he's taking too long, maybe a Trajan or a Scipio. You know, these are the generals you will want to use that, that, that top memento spots for. So that's the, that's the mementos. We're going to go over this new general, Matthias I. My thoughts on him. Um, he's actually, guys, he's really a good general. He's not, he's not bad. His overall rating is a 14077. It's just pretty good. It, 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 it stems mostly from his, uh, his high base attack of that 117. 120 is the highest you normally see on a base, atta on a base attack or defense or politics or leadership. Any base stat, base stat is going to be 120 max. So his 117 is pretty, pretty, pretty high. He starts off with increasing range troop and siege machine attack by 20% and march size by 5% whenever he's leading the army in attack. Like Napoleon, he has to be leading the attack to get that, that extra benefit from him. He adds 10% uh, to siege attack and health power, another 10% to range and siege attacks, another 10% to... Um, siege, attack, health power, and defense, and then another 20% to range attack and siege attack. He's primarily a siege general with bonus added extra to range. Um, it comes up to about 70% when you're dealing with just attack. Guys, um, despite the fact that Napoleon is at 72%, based on the high base stat that you see for um, Matthias, I would say that he's on par, if not better, than Napoleon. Napoleon overall has a higher rating. It stems from his very high leadership at 119, but that 112 siege, which is just hitting the good mark at 112, that's my minimum. 112 is my minimum for a base stat to determine whether or not that base stat is good or not. He's just hitting the good at 112. Just above hitting the good at 113 base stat for defense. Just hitting the good for that 112 politics. That 119 leadership very plays a crucial role in his rating. That will increase the um, the, the 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 speed that this that this general attacks any target that he's going to attack to. So, but and he has a 72 bonus to siege overall. He does give a little bit extra uh, um, bonus. To range troops, not as much of a bonus to range troops as Matthias. So he could possibly be better than Napoleon. You know, they both of these guys, you have to be leading them in attack to get max benefit from, from them. Um, the best uh, siege general is going to be Ulysses S. Grant, since we're speaking on the siege generals, just to go over him. He has the highest um, base stat in the game, of course, you know, tie for the highest which is 120 on the attack. He has a 14730. This is from having low politics, which contributes to a lot of health power. It's at 100. Um, uh, you know, he, he comes up to about 76 uh, bonus attack for siege. He also, he, he also add 15% to, to mounted troops to start with. Um, and, and then a, an additional... Um, uh, thirty-six percent to mountain mounted troops. Also, you know. Um, however, you know, you, he's the best siege primary siege. That seventy-six percent overall siege be siege, siege attack seventy percent. Starting off, if you had to start off a general for siege, you would probably use Napoleon. He's automatically going to give you that thirty percent boost. Where Ulysses S. Grant. It, it's going to be. It's going to necessarily need a dragon in order to give you um, his thirty percent. But overall, Ulysses S. Grant is a better siege general than them all. But back to Matthias, he could possibly be better, if not at least on par with Napoleon, 
So it's, you could, it's gonna be like one of those situations, but it's like like the Electra and Minamoto uh, um, debate. Who's a better general? They both hit 116 range attack. You know they do things better than each other in different areas. You know Electra needs that dragon as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely be a great debate between which of these two is gonna be the better general between Matthias and um. Napoleon, it's going to be very difficult to come up with a with a definitive answer on which one of those are better. My, my, I'm leaning towards Matthias. I'm leaning towards Matthias as being a better general um, because of that 117 base attack. They both 60 million in gold. Both can only be acquired um, through uh, the 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 epic tokens, um, and with that. You guys have a great day.